Yo, what up, internet? Welcome to Bricks and Beer, episode seventy-eight. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're still doing this. It's been a while. Life's weird. World's weird. Cheers, everybody. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, the lighting's also super harsh in here. Not quite sure why. Oh well. Uh, as always, welcome back to your mom's favorite podcast about Lego and beer. Tonight's beer, today's beer, wherever you are, is the Farm Island Brewing Organic IPA. Uh, it's real cheap. It has a big hop on the side. They sell it at Trader Joe's. Good on you, Trader Joe's. Um, I gotta say, in general, like, I'm a big Trader Joe's fan. And if you don't have Trader Joe's, like if you're watching this in Finland and they don't have it there, it's a store. It's a good store. I used to work there a long, long time ago. Uh, anyway, so they have a great beer selection, and it's been getting better. So um, good on you, Trader Joe's. So uh, hopefully you guys are doing okay. Like I said, it's still live from the apocalypse. It's out there. Hopefully you're doing okay. Hopefully your mental health is holding up. Lots of people seem to be a little crumbling at the edges. So, instead of focusing on all that bullshit out there, we're going to focus on some Lego bullshit. So it's September, which means it's Shiptember. Time for big, dumb spaceships. If it feels like I've done this before, it's because I have. Ah, uh, yeah. So, you know... I, I, I built a ship in September in one month. It's about this long. This is 100 studs. This is the, the measuring stick. Here's a beer for scale to give you guys an idea of the size. Um, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. I mean, I've done this a couple of times. I guess we could talk about that. But uh, in general, we're, we're going to do the thing. I'm going to show you how uh, you get from here to... Here. And all of that, as always, starts with an idea, a sketch. So I could do this thing. I could I could take this piece of paper and, and show you. Look at how terrible this is. Or we could use the magic of editing. But first, some history. So this is 2007. 13 years ago. Lifetime ago. Built this thing. It's a yellow ship. Very homeworld-esque. Uh, it's not great, but it was a thing. It was my first real endeavor. And then, you know, things got slightly more impressive. They got bigger, I suppose. This is 2009. This is two years later. Uh, shout out to the homie Rye. This is actually his living room and his Lego collection from 11 years ago. Uh, so I built this big, ridiculous Warhammer thing, Scalothrax. And then 2013 built this, the Hellmouth. I also did a big dumb photo, won a prize for being a jackass. Uh, but this is officially the first ship timber. This is 2013. And I went all in. Like, it was a big deal. Haven't really done it since. But I've built some other ships. Uh, 2015, if you've watched any of these episodes, early days early, early days. Um, this is episode 12. This is, uh, September 2015. So this is five years ago. Built the Beast. It's a thing. You can go watch the YouTube video. Uh, but that brings us to this year. And what are we gonna do? Remember that piece of paper? This is it. It's not really a plan. It's not really a sketch. It's more, more sort of a mood board. Um, you can tell there's, there's, you know, some ideas, there's some words, there's sort of some rough shapes, some ideas. That's kind of it. To be fair, I barely did any of these. I got, I got two out of like six. So whatever. So it starts with the inventory. This is uh, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take all these gray parts and I've got a million of these curved bits here at the bottom. I have 40 of them. That part is trash. It's garbage. I used zero 
in the final build. So it all starts with the frame. Everything starts with the frame. Here's my landing gear that was on the list, uh, along with a ramp. These are pretty simple landing gear. Uh, I'm just kind of sketching out ideas. Um, this is essentially the sketch. This is more of a sketch than the, the actual piece of paper. Um, you can see those little like winglet pods. I'm, I'm trying to rock the salmon, which is terrible. It's interesting, but it's terrible. Uh, so we replaced the salmon with gray, which looks way better. And at this point, you can see I've got like a, a decent frame and decent landing gear, and it's all good, man. I'm, I'm feeling okay about this. Except the landing gear doesn't hold shit. So, worm gears. Worm gears. Because apparently I needed functional landing gear, and that's really dumb. Really dumb. Because those tiny worm gears, they didn't work at all. So see the top? That's a teeny tiny worm gear. Well, it's a tiny gear compared to a worm gear, or next to a worm gear. Geared to a worm gear. It's all gears. So many fucking gears. So I have to up the, the tooth ratio. I need it to be more stable. So that's the bottom. And because I did that, it changes all the Technic pin placements, which means... I need to rebuild the entire goddamn frame. It's fine. This is fine. While I'm doing it, I might as well add another worm gear per landing strut because I really don't want this thing to collapse. Because at this point, I'm basically building a thing so I can do this dumb gimmick of having it landed and having a ramp come down. That's the entire reason for the build at this point. So here it is. I'm feeling pretty good. It's got a frame. Here's the landing gear folded up. It's getting bigger, slightly. It was always planned to be this big, but you know, you just start with the parts that you need. Um, so yeah, you know, it's a frame. I'm gonna do some angles. Here's a, a test swoosh, if you will, of just the frame. And uh, here's beer for scale, always beer for scale. So I've got to add some engines, and I've got to add some wings, and I've got to add some angles, and I've got to add some technic, and I've got to do all this shit, and I, I'm kind of not feeling it anymore. This is, this is the real drag of building one of these big spaceships, is the burnout. But I get here, and I'm like, fuck yeah, the landing gear works, the ramp works, put my beer here, it's excellent. So I send this out to the boys, and Dr. Brom goes, well... That beer's already open, Andrew. Asshole. I thought it was working. I thought it was good. But you know what? He was right. So we go for broke. That's right. We do it live. Eight unopened beers. Bang. Holds the weight. It's fucking beautiful. Fuck yeah. Super happy with it at this point. It does all the things it needs to do. Now I just need to make it look like a spaceship. That's less exciting. Uh, but you know, what do, what do you got to do? So I recycle the engines from 2013. I use the same part combo. This is a, uh, a soccer goal piece from 20 years ago. I have a couple of them for some reason. You see here, beer for scale, soccer pieces for scale. And I'm still not sure, like, really what the fuck I'm doing at this point. Because my shitty plan, my shitty sketch, didn't really communicate much outside of, like, cartoonish nonsense. So I've got some purple going on. I'm looking at trans orange. I'm like, man, anything but gray. It's all gray. It's all gonna end up being gray. So I'm putting some parts on, dealing with some, some textures. And I'm starting to sketch stuff out. Uh, I've got sort of like a placeholder cockpit here, getting a little fatty, little little chody, got some teeny wings. It's all good, you know? It's, it's coming together. I'm, I'm putting some plates on, I'm, I'm getting the, the actual structure going of the, the sides. Fortunately, I have a fuck ton of these uh, gray 6x6 six six tiles. Uh, if you want to know how many are in this, it's 52. You know why? Because I have 52. Um, so yeah, so you know, I'm, I'm starting to kind of do some transitions. Uh, I'm particularly happy with this like cone to the square back to the cone thing in the middle of it to transition that shape. The wings are getting a little more art deco-y. 
Um, you know, and I'm, I'm swooshing it around because it's a big spaceship. And I've got this thing where I've got these two windscreens. And we should talk about the windscreens. These windscreens. So I was like, man, why do I have one in blue and one in smoke? It's okay. I'll manage. I'll go see Jeff. So I drive an hour north to go see the homie Jeff to make the trade so I can do this. And I'm like, man, this is the first time I've ever done this. Oh, wait. But it's fine. So I get I get the, the smoke windscreen on there. I know where the other one is. It's in a bin. And it, it starts coming together. But I'm I'm not really feeling the cockpit. Like I like the roundness of it. And I've got the ramp action. It's it's doing all the things it kind of needs to do. And, and the surface detailing's coming together. Like I'm liking that. And here's me being me, being a jackass. But I don't really know what to do with these sides. So I, I'm windowing over the side things, which are really like airlocks. But I can get away with the curved windows because I got the curved windscreen. And I kind of hate the curved windscreen. And it's really occurring to me at this point that I'm, I'm building a thing from a cartoon. Even more so when it's landed. God damn it. So, might as well lean all the way in. Might as well change the cockpit. Fuck those curves. I thought I wanted them, and I didn't. I wanted this. This works a little bit better. Um, it feels a little, little more aggressive. Like it feels like it matches the rest of the ship and isn't just a thing tacked onto the front. And uh, you know, it's it's got like a nice profile overall. So I'm pretty stoked at this point. I'm I'm getting towards the end. I gotta have the ramp action. This is the Wump World. If you don't know about this go check it out it's amazing you know the ramp you gotta have the ramp here it is this is not the actual crew but uh yeah man i did the thing finally it's got landing gear it's got a ramp this is the belly uh i'm kind of just filling in there's giant holes for the legs but like at this point i don't really care because it's done it's fucking done it's, it's done. Like, three weeks. There it is. Boom. So what do I gotta do? I gotta take it to the beach. We gotta get some photos. What do you do at the beach? You put your big dumb spaceship on Arrakis, and you take some desert plant photos. So here it is, in all its finished glory, on the sand. You know, looking like it's doing... It's got airlocks on the side now instead of the stupid windows. I think that's better. Um, these photos aren't the greatest because I went during the afternoon and the, the sun is harsh, the quote unquote golden hour. Um, pretty proud of like how all the surface detailing came out though. This showcases the super, super minor sticker detailing I did, which I kind of wanted to keep that to a minimum as well. And then you got to have the crew. So here's the crew disembarking and you might ask yourself, well, Andrew, what's this crew all about? Well, let me tell you, because here they are. You got Captain Asshole, you know, that's the captain of the ship. He's got a, a first mate, a tough girl first mate. There's the pilot. I'm sure you can figure out who's who. There's a droid navigator. There's a cranky engineer, a snooty doctor, a hired gun, the side piece, Timmy the stowaway, the dog, and then, of course, Mr. T. Because why not? So that's Ship Timber. Here's a big dumb spaceship. It's big. It's dumb. I hope I don't drop it on the floor. Uh, it weighs a fuck ton. It's so goddamn heavy. I don't know what I did this year, but like, it's it's so much heavier than the other ones. Like, I don't know why. Um, and it's a big hollow box thing. You know, it's not it's not solid solid, buddy. I I guess you know it's. A, three foot long spaceship. So that's what I did during September. Oh, I'm gonna break it. Live. Uncut. Um, so yeah, what'd you guys do? Did you build a big dumb spaceship in a month? Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not the only one, because this is insane. Um, I know some other homies are working on it. So there's, there's a week to go. So you guys should fucking keep it up. Keep on shipping your September thing. 
Uh, so yeah, I guess that's episode 78. I built the spaceship. I hope you enjoyed the process. I feel like this watching the process thing is more interesting than me just, you know, doing a thing in front of the camera with a big Lego mock. Uh, one thing that I should mention is that this, like the 2015 ship, has like a swooshing handle. Like I can sort of ergonomically hold this. And then if, and then if we want to get really crazy, we can open these doors and we can pull out this ramp. And I, I can't do it slow enough with one hand for any sort of goodness at all. But, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta wait for it, Morty. You gotta wait for the ramp. So there it is. Oh my god. I did it. Um, yeah, so fucking enjoy yourselves. Stay sane out there. It's a weird time. If you want to hang out in the Discord, there's a link below. It's a virtual party. It happens all day, every day. It's good times. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Fucking have a good time. I'll see you in the future.